We are taking beer pong to the Olympics. A Greek restaurant on Pico Boulevard? It means the real Olympics. Hey, coach. You still huffing on that concentrate again? You know that makes you hallucinating shit, right? You know, hallucinations in reality are what inspire me. And you know what else inspires me? A reporter who came to the 1932 Olympics. His name was Mahatma Gandhi. Tell me you guys know who that is. Of course I know who Gandhi is. I saw the movie, documentary. <laughs> hey, didn't that come out like before X-Men? <laughs> I will loan you guys a DVD. Just tell me you know what a DVD is. What, that's like one of those little coasters spinning things, right? <laughs> you know what? If the great Mahatma can actually take time for bringing down the British Empire and come here and be a reporter and see movie stars and have waffles at Dupar's, we can take the cherished sport of beer pong to the Olympics. Waffles and not Dubar's pancakes? You know what? I'm really losing my faith in nonviolence. What the Olympics? Coach, you know LSD can give you flashbacks 20 years later. That explains so much. Okay. Unusual facts. Right now on the Olympics. Oh, oh, oh. Abibi Bakila becomes the first black man to win the gold medal in the marathon. Without shoes! Shoeless Abibi is what I call him. Oh! Stockholm Games, 1912. Had an arts competition founded by Baron Cooperton. And he won uh, an Olympic gold medal in literature. Wow. Sure. A writer wins a gold medal. Alright? I'm telling you, pot loving beer pong players can do this. Hey, okay, so 1900, Margaret Abbott placed first in the games by accident. She thought it was a regular golf tournament, jumped in, and became the first American woman to win a gold medal. Ha! Dominate that, bitches! But yeah. she had some CBD. Cabango! She was smoking a real ganja. <laughs> and that was golf, no less. I mean, that's slower than dirt. I'm telling you, right now, there have been a hundred events that have gone to the Olympics since 1980. A hundred. We can take beer pong to the Olympics, but there's only one thing we need. And what does every team need? Cheerleaders. Male cheerleaders, well endowed ones, jock straps. Trophies check, uniforms check. Logo check, uniform check, healthy for our mouth, you know, sustenance. Uh, so not checked. <laughs> Listen up, my dear millennial competitors. What every team needs is a motto. Something to believe in. Something to inspire. Something to comfort you in those late nights in jail. And where do we get our motto? Uh, oh, um, you didn't say, uh, I'm always right. But that was rhetorical and now you may speak. Um, quotes from athletes that, uh, that uh, give you like those, they wear those ugly ass clothing. Oh, oh, a words of in wisdom from the athlete's Instagram post. Or not. Gandhi on Olympic Boulevard. He was not fasting in LA traffic. Closer than water to a well digger's ass, Miss <laughs> <Black Wonder. laughs> We get it from the word itself. O-L-Y-M-P-I-C. Olympic. <laughs> and what does every team need? Cheerleaders. Male cheerleaders, well-endowed ones with jock straps. <laughs> Trophies check, uniforms check. Logo check, uniform check, healthy for emotional sustenance. Uh, so not checked. <laughs> Listen up, my dear millennial competitors. What every team needs is a motto. Something to believe in. Something to inspire. Something to comfort you in those late nights in jail. And where do we get our motto? Uh, oh, um, you 
Vincent. Uh, and I'm always right. But that was rhetorical, and now you may speak. Um, quotes from athletes that uh that uh, give you like those. They wear those ugly ass clothing. Oh, oh, a uh, words of in wisdom from the athlete's Instagram post. Or not? Got me on Olympic Boulevard. He was not fasting in LA traffic. We're closer than water to a well digger's ass, Miss. <laughs> <Lester. laughs> We get it from the word itself. O L Y M P I C. Olympic. <laughs> Smith out. <laughs> Squiffy. <laughs> Squiffy. <laughs> It's a British term. We're, we're on the American team! Voracious. What? It means resembling or consisting of dung, stud muffin. Alright, alright, alright. Then. Oh. Oh. oh, whoa, 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 hold the bomb. I just got this text. The Olympics has an. Anti-doping provision? Are you serious? Ah, oh. oh, entire dream shattered in a text. Oh. Cannabis is not dope. Oh. How are we supposed to brainstorm? I mean, connect our inner dreams with the outer realities of the universe. And oh. we are cannabis consumers and proud of it. This is the natural THC lifestyle to which we have a right. And it's our cannabis freedom of expression. Start with the Constitution that was printed on him. Exactly. You know, the Constitution guarantees our right to assemblage of weed products. I mean, I mean, think about it. I mean, and, and our founding fathers, they, they, they developed this amazing system of checks and balances by smoking it. Franklin. I mean, who would mess with lightning unless they were zipped? Jefferson. Wait, the people! Oh, uh, and then Washington, I mean, why would you for God's sake get out of bed and go cross over into New Jersey and attack the Hessians on Christmas Day? I mean, New Jersey, for God's sake! I don't even want to see my relatives on Christmas uh, Day! Had, had to be lit. lit! Whoa, whoa, We're going to fix this, all right? We're going to fix this. We are optimists, not negativists. We will find a solution for this. All right. 
that's not it. No. <laughs> Let's go. You think you're under a lot of pressure now? I'm telling you, it's never about the body. It's right here. Gas? Intestinal blockage? The spirit! You think you're not under a lot of pressure by swimming through shark infested waters? You did, did that? that? I'm not saying. Pressure is what. I want to tell you guys this. Do you come up with that S word? Deflect these special balls, or you two little shits are no longer going to be the team captains. You understand me? What the hell? What the hell? Not it. Not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Get over here. Coach, uh, did you mean to light that tree on fire? 